exactly is this mission hoping to achieve? Well, several things. I mean, there's been uh, quite a few missions before, and they're really centered on trying to find evidence of, of life on Mars, uh, although it now seems like a lifeless planet. Um, scientists believe that it might once have had the conditions for, for example, basic microbial life, so they're going to try to find uh, evidence of that with this rover. Um, and there's obviously a political and symbolic dimension as well. You mentioned uh, the other launches by China and the UAE. Uh, this Mars kind of launching season uh, has been very busy. There's The season basically comes when Mars and Earth are at their closest point. Um, and so that there have been uh, quite a few launches in this season uh, because countries are competing in space. And the competition is particularly apparent between China and the United States. Uh, there was already uh, tension over space uh, exploration between the US and China under the Obama administration when cooperation was banned, uh, space uh, cooperation was banned by uh, the US with China because of a fear that China could get hold of American technologies that it would then put to military use. Uh, now, of course, with the well-known tensions between the Trump administration and, and China currently, uh, th there's an even stiffer rivalry between those two countries, and it has now gone into uh, space as well with, uh, with this Chinese launch. And this isn't just about scientific research. Ultimately, both uh, the US, China, want to ultimately get people on Mars eventually. Yeah, that's right. So the US uh, wants to uh, return astronauts to the moon uh, by the end of uh, this decade. So that would be uh, a way of trying to uh, sort of work out these much more ambitious uh, crewed missions, uh, crewed uh, missions to Mars, uh, perhaps in the 2030s, who knows. Uh, but um, it's, it's really a, a, a huge challenge because, uh, you know, going to the moon, it's not the same as going to Mars. The moon is much closer. And when astronauts leave Earth's magnetic sphere, the effects on health are clearly not good. I mean, that's been shown by studies, but no one's really studied the long term effects of, of uh, of much um, a much longer journey in deep space on human health. Bear in mind, a human journey to Mars would be several months. That's longer than anything ever attempted. So uh, even the existing studies show adverse effects on um, on the heart, on cardiovascular systems, and so on. And so on. So um, this is something that hasn't really been done, obviously, because no one has done it before. Plus all the massive logistical issues of uh, welcoming, I mean, what, what do you do when astronauts arrive on Mars as well? What's the infrastructure there? How are you going to set up a longer term uh, mission there? And the fact that they're going to be completely on, on their own with, with no support from Earth, basically. I get the sense you won't be uh, volunteering for that mission yourself, Armin. Uh, not anytime soon, no. <laughs> Armin Georgian from my International Affairs Desk, thank you. Well, that's all we have time for.